Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a little gray fox emerger. The hook I have in the vise is a 200R. It is a size 18. And this is a dry nymph hook. It is a semi-dropped. It's a two extra long shank. You can get that from Green Caddis Outfitters. GreenCaddis.com I'm going to use a 70 denier black thread. We're going to put the base of thread down halfway. And then we're going to come up half of that. And that will be our wing position. For our wing, I'm going to use a pair of speckled partridge hackle. These are little ones. I'm going to put them convex sides together. I'm going to tie them on. going to give them a couple of turns there and I'm going to pull them to size. Pull that second one. There we go. That's pretty good. I'm going to secure them and trim that off. I'm not going to lift the wing yet. Now I'm going to put a shuck on and I have a brown boot lace and this is one strand from a brown boot lace and you can see there's basically four strands in the single strand. I'm just going to take one of those strands. This is a really small fly. You don't need a lot to imitate that shuck. I'm going to cut myself off an inch or so, two inches, whatever. We've got a nice curve on there and we want that shuck to be about the length of the body from the wing back could tie that in and trim off that excess Just cleaning up that shank there. Gonna turn it upside down so I can dub my noodle. And I'm gonna take the dark tan super fine dubbing. It's a nice color there. Take a small amount only where you can barely tell you have any on your fingers. Make a real small noodle there. And I'm going to wrap that. Come back to the tail first, or the shuck, and start moving it forward. I'm going to bring that dubbing right up to the wing. I'm going to lift the wing up, and I'm going to wrap in front of it. I'm going to put a couple of wraps around the wing itself. Now I have a brown grizzly and a natural grizzly. I'm going to tie these in together. I'm going to start in front of the wing. Wrap that back to the wing itself and then I'm going to wrap it up the wing post. And then wrap back down. I'm going to put just a little bit more dubbing on there. We're going to wrap around that wing post. Wrap up to that head. We're going to make a head here. And then I'm going to wrap the thread around the wing post once more. 
Now first, since this brown grizzly is so long, I'm going to rep that one first. Just going to give that about three turns and secure that. Put a wrap underneath it. I'm going to remove that hackle. Now this natural grizzly is very short, so I have to use my hackle pliers. And we're going to put about three turns on this. And there we have about three, and we're going to tie that down, go on top of it, and then put a couple of wraps underneath. And I'm going to get rid of that excess. Now I'm going to use my fingers and give it a whip finish. Pull that thread out there pretty long. Turn it a little bit sideways and we want to go underneath the hackles. And one more time. Hold that there. Going to put a hook on it. Take my head cement. Clean that brush off pretty good. And I'm going to put head cement on the oop, wrong side. I'm going to put head cement on the right side or the left side thread. And when I pull that through, the head cement's going to go in first. Pull that tight. And here we have a gray fox eat merger. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.